would say that there is no that there is a freeze coming between the Russians and the Chinese. It's just all my all the work I do say that the that the Chinese have said, you know what? We wish you the best of luck. Why? Because they back winners, and Putin doesn't look like he's winning. That's exactly. Um, that's a, we'll talk about that in a second. There's the opening bell. CNBC real time exchange at the big board. It's truck provider custom truck one source celebrating its first listing anniversary at the Nasdaq Golden Matrix, a developer and licensor of online gaming platforms. To your point about China, though, Jim, I mean, um, EU is their biggest trading partner. Right. And the FT yesterday made the argument that they kind of got stuck with Putin, kind of got played a bit, and are now at, have a vassal state on their hands, some yeah, argue. Well, that, oh, that's really important. I mean, people forget Put uh, that Italy, which has an economy the size of Russia, uh, kind of sold out. To, uh, to China with the Belt and Road Initiative. Now they have a they have someone who runs the country, Draghi, who's very smart. And I think that Italy is trying to figure out who they're with. The Germans are trying to figure out who they're with. But the Chinese will go with who anybody's with because 25% of their business goes there. And the Chinese, let me tell you what the Chinese are very afraid of. This is really interesting. Uh, between our natural gas and Australian natural gas, if the president wanted to, instead of browbeating the pioneers of the world and the EOGs, we could shut them down. We could shut China down. We could turn down. We could just say no more LNG to you, China. But we don't, you know, their president is uniquely uh, tone deaf to what can really happen. But you could shut them down. You could go to Australia and say, listen, we don't want you to send any more LNG. Uh